Today's My VK segment, sponsored by the Holland Area Visitors Bureau, will be exploring a little slice of the Netherlands at Windmill Island Gardens in Holland. So what is the fun history of this beautiful place and what else will you enjoy? Put on your wooden shoes, we're strolling the grounds this morning. Dutch girl, you better believe I'd love a trip to the Netherlands. So that's really not gonna happen right now. What's even better is that I can drive 30 minutes west to right here to Windmill Island Gardens. How about you and your family make it part of your vacation plans this summer? Hi, I'm Matt Helmus, Windmill Island Gardens Development Manager here in the city of Holland. So Windmill Island Gardens has been here over 55 years. We're owned by the city of Holland and we came to be because people wanted a site to show our Dutch heritage here in Holland. So the city fathers got the idea to bring an actual Dutch windmill here from the Netherlands and they were able to do so, the last one allowed to leave. And then around, uh, around that windmill over the years we've built up things, we've gotten more and more uh, attractions and replicas. So we've just added a lot of uh, Dutch themes, we've added garden themes, it's just a fun spot to come. So here on site we have what we call our three Dutch treasures. So obviously the windmill came from the Netherlands in 1965, the last one allowed to leave. It's a very historic building. We have a uh, state and national recognition. We have our carousel that kids love to ride. That's actually authentic from the Netherlands as well. And then we have our street organ that came from the city of Amsterdam as a way to say thank you to the city of Holland after World War II. Folks here donated a lot of money and clothes and food back to the Netherlands. And then we have a lot of replica structures. So our gift shops, our replica structures, our post house, which is our visitor center. We try and bring a lot of things like that. So it feels like a little slice of Europe here in Holland. So people come to visit us from all over the place. We usually get about 125,000 visitors every year, usually from every single state and territory in the United States, and then from a lot of different countries. Uh, the neatest thing is when people come from the Netherlands or Germany or in that area, just to see how we're doing things, make sure we're not being too kitschy. And they say, man, it felt like a little slice of home here. Those are the, the coolest comments we get from visitors. So the windmill is just a very historic building. We've done more and more research. We learn something every time we go into it. Uh, it's, it's been here for 55 years, but it's essentially old. It's actually parts, uh, it was two parts of two old mills that were put together. It's a grain mill, so we actually still use it to grind grain when the wind allows us to. Uh, you can go up when you visit, you can come here and get a tour of it, and you can go up to the gallery and get a great view of our site. It has, uh, windmills only have two blades, a lot of people think they have four, but it's actually only two long beams that are 80 feet long each. So it's huge, it's great to go in, it's a working machine. So when people go in there, they can, if they're an engineer, they get all geeked about the gears and things like that. People can learn about agriculture in there. You can learn about food because you're seeing how wheat gets turned into grain and people can take it home and then buy it and make it into bread or cookies or whatever else they want to. It's just an amazing building, an amazing machine. And the tulips bloom in May, uh, early or late April to early May. We get tens of thousands of visitors. People know us uh, for our Tulip Time Festival here in Holland. But after that, you're right, we pull all the tulips uh, from the beds and from the fields. And all the bed areas, we replant with annuals every year with a different garden theme. So this year, our theme is music. So we'll have uh, different musical type beds all around the island. And I actually like this time more. We call it our peak week is the end week of July and folks will visit because that's really the week that our annuals and perennials really look the best. I like that better than tulip time. It's not so busy. You can come and enjoy our beautiful flowers without so many thousands of people here. So our organ is another one of the key pieces we have here, and that was actually a gift from the city of Amsterdam in 1947 to the city of Holland. The school kids there actually raised money to buy this organ from a private collector, and then they, they sent it to the city of Holland as a thank you for after World War II, Holland residents here of Dutch heritage sent a lot of money and food back to the old country to kind of help them rebuild. So this was a thank you gift, and it still runs. It's an amazing, uh, cool piece of musical instrument, and it plays different kind of music. We can play the Beach Boys on it. We can play whatever we want it to. It's kind of like a player piano, actually. 
Well, along with our structures and our replicas, our staff, we like to have them in Dutch costume. And they're there to answer questions about our buildings, about the experience, so people can come and learn and ask them questions. And they're really the key of our park. So definitely when you're here, ask them questions, and hopefully they'll either know the answer or they can definitely find you the answer. Holland's just a great place. We know we're known for the lake. We have a beautiful lighthouse, a beautiful downtown, but a lot of people do look for our Dutch heritage here, and we're a great place here at Windmill Island Gardens. You can come, you can visit the windmill, you can visit our other, our carousel, our organ, and our beautiful gardens. There's really something for everyone to, to have a good time here. Can't wait to bring my family back, learn more about Windmill Island Gardens, and discover more of what the City of Holland has to offer at holland.org.